Hi guys, in today's lesson we are looking at client interview, questions to ask and how to present the information. Objectives, understand the aim for doing a user or client interview, identify a user or client and undertake an interview with them to establish their needs and wants. We need to interview the client. The client was established on the first page. If we look at this example of a pupil's work, he has identified a client in a separate paragraph. He has written, I interviewed my brother who is currently waiting for his entry at university. Some of you have identified the client in the problem statement or the situation statement in the first paragraph. We also need to think about the questions that we are going to ask in order to design the right project for the user. The answers will influence the specification and the design. Once we have written a specification and when it comes to justification, we can link the justification point to client interview. For example, my client does not want to pay more than 150 real because in the client interview, this is what he said. Client interview. Possible questions you could ask. What material preference do you have? What is it going to hold? How can the situation be improved? What size will it be? Do you have any additional preferences? How much would you pay? What type of style or influence do you like? How easy do you find it to? How do you currently and what are your interests and hobbies? This is an example of a client interview, how the work is presented. You have an introduction on the right hand side and a conclusion. Once you have presented a client interview, we need to produce a survey. The specification requires a survey of some kind. This will lead to a bar chart or a pie chart. Each project will produce a different survey. The survey will ask questions to the target market. I would suggest maybe ask 20 people. Possible question if I was making a jewellery box. What type of jewellery will you hold in the box? We need to do a survey and present this information either as a pie chart or a bar chart. Click on insert, table. Copy and paste the question and then type this up into the boxes. If you press tab on the end row, it will create another row. Once you've created your table and you've conducted a survey, in this example, there are 54 people. I would suggest that you keep this to 20 or less. You then need to work out the percentage. Now the percentage is worked out by the number of people divided by 54. Once you've completed the table, we then need to visually present this information. So in order to do that, you need to click on to insert and chart. Choose pie chart. It could also be a bar chart if you wanted. And then you'll see an Excel document appear. Copy and paste the information from the table into the Excel document. And then close the table. I just resize this and place it to one side and then add my title so if I go back to my question just copy the question paste that into the title box click onto the pie chart click onto the cross data labels if you click onto the arrow go down to more options this panel will appear on the right you can show percentages so if you look at this example you have the percentages but if you look closely if you pick one example the percentages are not correct therefore I've made a mistake in copying the information so if you look at the blue it says 18 18 people well that's 52 percent and now we know that it should be 33 percent so there is a mistake so let's go back click on it right click edit data expand the excel document and we can see there's a mistake that it only ends at watches. So we need to copy and paste, check the information. And now you can see that information is correct. Where it says 18, it's 33%. Where it says 5, it's 9%. So it is a good idea to have an extra column to work out the percentage and double check your findings.
if you wanted to you could just add percentage category name that's entirely up to you how you want to present your information i normally go with percentage and the name of the item it just makes it easier to see you could just have a key at the bottom once you've completed one pie chart i would resize the table and the pie chart and place that onto another slide and here are a few examples of students work different ways that you can present your work just ensure that you have an introduction and a conclusion of what you've learnt. Thanks for watching guys.